I just thought I would start off this episode with some nightmare fuel. We're back in Pleasant Valley, and we've just had a very satisfying first taste of substance from part three of Tales from the Far Territory. Next stop, Timberwolf Mountain. Hello, Legion. This is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more of the Long Dark in our Against All Odds series. We are pretty much ready to go. And we have lots of food, none of which is smelly, by the way, which I freaking love, or at least I assume it's not smelly. Uh, maybe it is. Who knows? But I assume it's not smelly. We do have some arrow shafts. I'm going to have to make use of those at some point. Um, oh, yeah, that's right. We have the last hour of this book to read. I might as well do that before I leave, and that way we can kick off this episode having firmly said... There it is. We have literally done all of the reading that I had to put off because of intestinal parasites earlier in the series. And that, let me just tell you, feels fantastic. I've got these books on me. I probably don't need to keep them with me. Matter of fact, I really need to start thinking about I'll keep one with me. And you know what? I'll leave this one. Let's put it not in the trunk, but in front of the trunk. I want to have that one easy fire. I think that's probably a good idea. The cured wolf pelts. You know, we have these two curing here. And we're only going to need four. But, you know, until I actually... I think what I'm going to do is leave the rest of my wolf pelts here as well. Because there's no need for me to... I can come back by and grab these later. There's no need for me to have this stuff. And I can also think that way about a number of other things. Because we're going to be coming back from Timberwolf Mountain with a lot of loot. So let's kind of go category by category and think for a second. Like, what do I really need to take with me? I definitely want all of that first aid stuff, including all of the teas. I think I'm going to go ahead and leave these ear wraps and these fleece mittens, not because I don't want them, but because they're just, right now they're taking up space, and I don't think they're necessary. I'm also tempted to leave, wow, I have like more than a pound of revolver shell casings on me. The likelihood that I'm ever going to use all of those is incredibly low. Let's come over to the... Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we, need, to, we need to think about this for a minute, because that's... That's a little bit dumb. So let's... Let's cut that in half, at least. Three quarters would be what? 96? We'll cut it in half. And I mean, I'll still have these here. So I transferred that. Yeah, there's a lot of gear. Like, I've got the the fuses. I've got the wires. Do I need any of that stuff right now? Can I leave it behind? We could potentially run into places where those would be useful. And I'm not that far over encumbrance now at this point, if you look at how we're doing. I'm just thinking in terms of the fact that I, I will definitely be coming back at some point with a lot more stuff. And I don't necessarily... I can go ahead and refuel this. Not fully, but... I can probably think of some things that I can lighten the, the load with. Now, the coal is most of it, so I might just be contented with what I've got at this point. I also have a lot of water on me. So if I drink that, that'll help. I could also repair my bedroll, to be honest. Weather sounds decent at the moment. Not great, just decent. Should be good enough for a trip. I also have a lot of feathers on me. I can get rid of some of my literal pound of feathers that I'm carrying. 
and that would be useful. Let's go ahead and do roughly half of those. Put them in storage. We have these cured saplings. I want to have those on me, although I can probably leave the cured maple sapling behind for now and come back for it later. And also the recycled cans I don't need at this point because I have the cooking skillet and I have the cooking pot. And I saw an amazing suggestion from Jendo in the comments that I really liked, which is, you know, now that we've got the cooking skillet and the cooking pot, you know, let's just walk around with that. That's enough weight to worry about. And, you know, we don't need to worry as much about keeping a can for things because the, the skillet can be used for some of the same purposes. Anything else? I've got cured guts. Do I need to repair my rabbit skin hat anytime soon? Not really. So I'm actually going to leave all of my guts and stuff here. Sorry, I know this is kind of a very contemplative episode start, but we're about to take a really big trip. And I might not come straight back here. We're going to go to Ash Canyon. We might even go to Black Rock. So, yeah, thank you for that. That's very well-timed music game. We have, we have a lot to think about. This is stuff I might not be back for anytime soon. All right, I think I'm pretty happy with that, though. Yeah, I think I am. I'm just looking for anything that... I probably am carrying more sewing kits than I need, but... I'll tell you what. Let me drop, like, a few of these in two of the whetstones, because there are likely to be more whetstones up there. Then we have the hooks. We can finally fish again. That's another thing from the hotfix that we have a little bit more assurance of, so that's nice. All right, enough dally dallying words. Enough of that, whatever that word is. Let's get going. I am actually kind of tempted to go through these houses again real quick while I'm here. But at the same time, you know what? No, I can do that when I come back. I can do that when I come back. So I'm going to take the somewhat unusual approach of following the river back here, which is not the most direct route, but it will work for my purposes. I might find some cattails along the way, which is never a bad thing. The weather is phenomenal at the moment. So that's lovely. This is, of course, episode 59 of Against All Odds Season 7. We're approaching some pretty cool milestones for the series. I've already mentioned that we've survived longer than we survived in Season 6. Season 6 was 65 days. We've survived to day 75. Maybe not 75 full days yet, but we're getting there. However, in just a few episodes, and I kind of referenced this several episodes back, in just a few episodes, we'll actually surpass the episode count, which is pretty cool. I think I see a cattail over there. Maybe. Oh, no, it's just a... Wait, wait, yep, cattail. Nice. Oh, multiple cattails. Wonderful. All right, so we might get a little cold here. We can definitely take a moment to appreciate how much better of a survival situation we're in now than we were in for the past several episodes. I mean, the past couple have not been bad, but before that, that whole situation of forcing myself to stay still for a moment and try to get all that reading done... That was, uh, that didn't work well, <laughs> to say, to say the very least. Okay, apparently, I, I thought I walked this path and did this already with these cattails. The fact that I didn't is awesome, because I hear a demon somewhere, or maybe a moose. Hi, bunny. How you doing? Yeah, so let's just keep walking back this way. We're probably going to lose a little bit of health on this walk. 
but we've got some waypoints, some places where we can definitely stop for shelter. We have some coal so we can start a hot fire. And technically I could start a fire anywhere here. The weather's good enough. I don't have to lose any health at all. But I'm confident that I can regain it. Oh, wow. Yeah, I did not... Maybe when I walked this last, it either was a different series and I'm misremembering, which is possible. Because like I said, I've done a lot of Long Dark series in rapid succession this year so far, which is not usually what I do. <laughs> I say that like I was around before that. I was gone for a good while, but... Wait. It was so cold. I'm warming up a bit. My status quo before that absence was that I would do... And against all odds series once or twice a year with some months in between them and <laughs> this year i've done nine long dark series this being the ninth okay so i think we need to go ahead and take that fork i just want to check this thicket real quick yeah i don't want to be out here too much longer and I can probably start a fire, to be honest, but I think I'll have some shelter before too long. We won't have to worry too much. I kind of just want to keep moving. I'm at a point where I could rest for an hour and regain any condition that I lose. The main concern, if you're newer to the long dark, the main concern, there are two, really, to watch out for when you start to lose health due to the cold. The first is hypothermia. Right now we have hypothermia risk. That's what happens when the cold meter is all the way empty, as the veterans here know. So you can't let hypothermia actually develop because then you're going to have a much harder time surviving. Okay, I need to go a little bit farther. Or maybe I don't. I don't know. I see some more cattails though, so I'm glad I came this way. There might be a wolf nearby, though. I feel like I'm near a wolf patrol route. The other concern is the more typical long dark survival concern, which is that, you know, you, you only ever need to worry when your actual life bar, which is at the very bottom left, starts to empty out. And right now, the life bar is actually quite full. I'm just keeping a close eye on my surroundings because I see cattails and I want to grab them. These are going to fuel my trip. Oh, wow. Lots of them. Fantastic. I, I hadn't realized just how little of Pleasant Valley's riverbanks I had scavenged, but it makes perfect sense because the last time I was here, I was not in a condition to really have a leisurely stroll around and look for cattails. Now I kind of am. Wow. Holy crap, there's a bunch of them. I'm gonna take full advantage. Unlike what I did in Forlorn Muskeg because I didn't I couldn't afford to stay still. I didn't have any food. Well, it wasn't that I didn't have any food. There was just kind of a, a need for momentum, I think, at that point. I had been sitting still, as I said a moment ago in Milton for a few days. And generally, as a player, I'm really mobile, so that didn't... That's why that didn't work. Okay. I'm gonna hop across here. Or oh, wait a minute. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Hang on. I'm gonna keep going this way for a moment longer. I'm not gonna go that way for cattails, although it looks like there might be some, so that's kind of a mental note for the future. All right, hypothermia risk is about 25% of the way up. Ugh, I wanted to try and go between there. Stay close to these rocks. Yeah, see, I knew I was near the barn. Which means I'm also probably near a wolf. And a bear. Yeah, so I didn't go as far back into the zone as I thought I did on the river. And that's fine. All fine. 
I'll need to grab a few sticks so that I can actually have a proper fire. And I'll need to keep my ears tuned for any bear crows. This, this might be another good opportunity to kind of learn what they sound like. So if I hear them, I'll shut up. There's a demon over there. For a second, I thought I saw a hatchet. I was about to lose my mind. Like an actual hatchet. I could eat a horse. You're fine. Okay, so there are some houses back in here somewhere. And there's also a bear. Yeah, there we are. Alright. Good. Found them. Now, these are not shelter, but... They do have potential loot, and I can't recall if I've been here already this series. But those are carrion crows. This is what carrion crows sound like. I think I've been to this guy. Oh no, I haven't. Okay. Nothing on him. I'll go ahead and grab the feathers. Now, I can't recall. I feel like there's sometimes stuff here that's worth stopping for. All right, I do need to go ahead and warm up soon. I can probably, the funny thing about what I'm doing right now, I could totally just light a fire anywhere I'm standing in this area. I totally could. Okay, yep, let's keep going. But we're close enough now to a point where I'll really be able to stop and rest for a prolonged period of time. And then that will be close to some other points where I can stop and rest. And also look, here's some birch bark. Because I am work walking through a birch forest. I honestly should have been watching for more of this stuff as I walk through. Because it is a birch forest. <laughs> and we've seen the benefits of birch bark tea many times this series already. Alright, so far here only carrion crows. Hypothermia risk is getting pretty high. I've also lost a decent amount of condition, so I do need to go ahead and get to some warmth. I see some more cattails over there. Let's do that. Actually, I see cattails in multiple locations, so this is kind of reassuring that there's still a lot in Pleasant Valley supply-wise that I'll be able to rely on in future trips through here. As I said in episode one, normally I stop against all odds runs. Oh, hello. I misclicked there. Normally I stop against all odds runs at uh, like episode seven or episode 100 is what I meant to say. Episode 100. This is season seven. But in this because it's because of the absence that I mentioned earlier, one of the things that I've have been looking forward to about this series is that, you know, if we hit episode 100, and especially because the world is so much bigger and there's more to explore, especially like Forsaken Airfield, I mean, there are still entire zones we haven't visited yet. That's what was really different about the days where I, I'm taking the high road because I want to make sure I'm not walking up on a bear. All right. Okay, I do need to eat something. So yeah, there, there are entire zones that we haven't been to in this series. It would be really cool to visit. And I look forward to visiting all of them if I can. That kind of feels like the appropriate thing to do in a lot of ways. I'm going to grab these sticks. Not that I need them right now, per se, but could come in handy soonish. Now we're going to head this way. This is a different route than I would normally take. 
but it'll work for our purposes. So there's the dual climb up to Skeeter's Ridge. We don't have to take that, though. I wish I could find... Yeah, that goes up kind of to the far side of Skeeter's Ridge. Here we go. This is what I was looking for. So we can relax here for a bit. Oh, let me grab some reishi mushrooms while there's one staring me in the face. Actually lost a little bit more condition than I would have wanted. But yeah, we have a lot of ground to cover. We have a lot of, uh, of territory still to get through. So we're going to keep going as long as we kind of are feeling the vibe and enjoying how things are going. Things have stabilized a little bit. I think once I'm done with this run to Timberwolf Mountain, they will be even more stable. I have not been here, and I, I didn't think that I had, but it's good to confirm, because it, it's really been, been over a month of real time, and game time, but especially real time, since I was in Pleasant Valley in this safe. So, okay. Let me drink some water. I'm mainly doing that just to reduce my burden a little bit, and then we'll eat some of these cattails. I only have 15. <laughs> For all those cattails I picked, it's always so surprising how few I have when I have like such a huge day in terms of finding cattails. Okay, now if I sleep for Three hours. I should fully recover warmth. I'll recover a decent amount of condition, not a ton. Probably need birch bark tea to get the rest of the recovery done. And that's fine. Still super cold. Okay, so I think, yeah, I think this is the rock face on the side of the climb leading up to Skeeter's Ridge on the side that I actually want to get to. So let's head up there. Yeah, this this rock is kind of a landmark. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Let me see if I'm right about this. Yeah. If you ever see that rock jutting up from the ground in that way, what you can do is just kind of squeeze through that opening and hang a right and you're on the path up to Skeeter's Ridge. And that rope we saw just a moment ago goes up there as well, but it takes you to the other side of it, to the eastern side of it. This is, this path takes you up to the western side. I don't want to lose any more condition to the cold. And we're going to need to, when I have the opportunity to make a fire, we're definitely going to need to do that. Part of me wants to check the plane wreck again to see if anything's changed in the loot table, you know, as part of the cooking update, but I kind of doubt it. I'm, I'm kind of more inclined to think that the cooking goods will all be found in, like, homes, especially the big homes, like the one here in Pleasant Valley. That's kind of my thinking, if that makes sense. Deek. Deek. 
Eek. <laughs> also, on a random technical note, this is, this is so random, but like speaking of Against All Odds Season 6, all right, we've, we've been here. I even, I think I, what did I drop here last time I was here? Sport vest, cattail heads. Okay, you can tell it was a different situation last time I was here. Uh, we can keep going, I think. I'm a little bit warm at the moment, but we can keep going. Anyway, speaking of Against All Odds Season 6, when I was checking that record that I mentioned a moment ago, both the episode record and the survival length record. And yes, I am checking these again. My curiosity got the better of me because we need to go this way anyway. When I was checking those, I noticed, like, and it's especially noticeable to me now because I record using nice headphones. Thank you, Patreon supporters. And... I don't know why I thought my mic settings were okay, but they're not okay. <laughs> in Against All Odds Season 6. They're not okay. That's a new corpse. That wasn't here the first time. Either that or I just didn't search it. Do I get at home or I'm up soon? You'll be fine. Just give me a second. And you'll be home free. Actually, I did just hear wolves, so I need to be careful about that. Alright, I'm going to move kind of quick here, because at this point, I just need to make it to the empty cache and rest. Might light a fire outside at the shed. Hello, dear. Alright, I'm almost positive I've already been to this hunter's blind, but I just want to double check. And then we're going to head over that way. Ooh, dead guy. Feather. Feather. Did not check this dead guy last time I was here. Alright, I'm officially losing more health than I want to. Yeah, I definitely need to make some tea. Alright, nothing else here. Alright, let's hightail it. I'm going to kind of stay on the slope here. The hidden cache, or the empty cache, whatever you want to call it. The abandoned cache is the technical name. Is right past these rocks. Map knowledge. Map knowledge is what brings us together today. Hey, all right. First things first, we're going to step in here. I think I do want to look inside the abandoned cache first and see if I find anything, but then I'll come out here and see if I can cook for a bit. Have I checked that backpack? Oh, no, I haven't. That's very interesting. Some firewood. Have I been here? Have I not even been here this series? Not even for, like, a rest stop. I guess I haven't. Oh, wow, I haven't. Nice. Okay, well, that's unexpected. Before I settle down here, like I said, I need to go back out and I need to make some... I don't need that newsprint. I need to go back out and I need to make some tea so I can drink it before I sleep. But... Still the possibility we can find some things here. There's never a ton of loot in this, this place. Will come in handy. <laughs> really? I can't open it. I'll actually take that. Because we were having some discussion in the comments when I had that moment in Milton a few days back. Like, hey, can't open it. Why do I have that? And then somebody reminded me that I'd picked it back up because I don't want to damage my knife. And you know what? Fair enough. It's half a pound. Before too much longer, we will visit Ash Canyon, and we will 
gain something that increases our inventory capacity even more. So, you know what? Fine. <laughs> I will keep using the can opener. I'm just surprised that I... I thought for sure I'd been here already. Just goes back to what I was saying, though. I've done a lot of Long Dark series this year, so... It... Memories are going to get crossed. All right, so we also do have this workbench, which is really interesting. Um, oh, interesting. So there's... One second. That is... Potentially useful. See, the workbench, I could go ahead and make... Do I have... I don't have any arrowheads on me. I need to make more arrowheads. Okay. But I could make more arrow shafts. Totally. While I'm here. Which, you know, doesn't hurt since we have the workbench to go ahead and take advantage of that. But first things first, let's step back outside and we're going to make some tea. Our hypothermia risk just healed and I step back outside. My body's screaming at me like, why are you doing this? Oh, is that revolver ammo? How convenient. <laughs> right as we get to the base of Timberwolf Mountain. You're going to give me revolver ammo. Get the hell out. That's so funny. Oh, did I leave the freaking... No, I've, I've got it. That, that's weird. Maybe you have to start... Maybe you have to start a fire to use the skillet. Like, in order to put it down. That doesn't... I mean, why wouldn't that also apply to the cooking pot? I didn't have the option to put it down from the radial. So maybe that's just something they're still... adding, or maybe it's in another radial. Okay, I'll figure it out. You will have a fire. Calm down. I'm actually going to use the wood that I picked up. Uh, I might save one piece of it if I can. Let's see if that warms me up enough. Come on, 32. Come on, 32. Come on, 32. There it is. All right. Now I can actually stay here and cook. So hold on a second. I'm so confused. Why doesn't it show on the radial? That's so fascinating. Or maybe you have to have it, maybe you have to use it on a stove. No. Cooking skillet. There it is. <laughs> okay. Alright, so I can make, I can, I can heat these. So what I need to do is prepare some of the birch bark that I have. I can make two birch bark teas. And I'll probably go ahead and drink both of them, because they do stack. Unless they change that. In which case, I'm going to learn today. I don't know why I grabbed that torch. I'm literally just going back inside. We're going to rest for a bit. Alright, so there's that. That's just a book. Nothing underneath here, nothing underneath there. There might be things in the cardboard boxes, but I'm going to wait to figure that out. Yeah, this place is an absolute wreck compared to what it used to be. Been updated slightly. Is there anything on top of... Like if I were to, like, scan the ceiling, could I find anything? <laughs> I've learned from the farmhouse. Frozen pipes, though. You can definitely tell this place isn't working anymore. To whatever extent it ever did in the first place. Anyway. 
let's go ahead and extinguish this torch. Now I have this bed. Have some things to eat. Yeah, I'm primarily just going to chow down on cattails. They're about to be... You know what? I'm just... Yeah, I'm going to eat all these. There's no sense keeping any of them in inventory. We're going to finish up the episode eating every last one of these cattails. Because there will be more in Timberwolf Mountain. And there will be additional food sources. As we start going through the various containers, there will be plenty of food sources. And hopefully I'll find them all. I don't, you know, I, there's a part of me that wants to like fully explore Timberwolf Mountain and there's a part of me that just wants to go to the summit and, you know, get the stuff from the plane. But the truth is that there's, there, that's not the only place, you know. So it's worth kind of remembering that. I really am low on water too, but I think I can kind of leverage that given the fact that I need to sleep anyway. Okay, now let's not forget birch bark tea. Oh, I'm not thirsty. Damn it. Shouldn't have drank that water. All right, hang on. This is going to work anyway. Let's pass the time for like two hours. Okay, now drink one birch bark tea. It's going to fully sate me thirst wise. So let's uh, pass time for just a little bit longer enough to get thirsty again so I can do this. There we go. We get some caloric value from that as well. So, you know, a win is a win is a win. Let's sleep now for nine hours. We're not going to get a full nine, but we will recover lots of condition. Probably not all of it, but most of it. And the sun is rising. And on that note, I will go ahead and stop this episode here. In the next one, we are going to climb that ladder. We're going to climb the rope outside. And we're going to head straight into, not the unknown, but the zone that I'm now much more comfortable with, Timberwolf Mountain, and see what we can find. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. If it's not your first time or even your second, look for the join button to access unique emotes, badges, and other perks. New episodes are coming out every day but Wednesday at 1 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time, and comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.